winning. No gunshots, but they getting low, 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 low. Hey, what's up, you guys? Craft Farms here, and welcome back to another video. I had a little hiccup there. So, I'm going to show, I've had a lot of people ask me about how you bring stuff from 17 to put it in 15. So, I'm going to show you. So, I got a little seed tote here that I downloaded. Uh, I mainly want this kind of as an object for now, and then later I want to try and figure out a way to script it. Um, so, what you do is you open this up with the FS17 Giants editor, which is version 7.0.5, which is, well, that's what I have anyways. So, here is the seed tote. All that I want is the tote itself. I don't need any of this other stuff. So, seed tote, viz, and labels. That's all that I need. So I'm going to go File, Export Selection, go here, I need to change this to Wavefront OBJ, and then name it Tote. Now, if you're doing a full-blown, you know, like a tractor or something like that, there's obviously going to be way more work involved. But it's going to be a very similar concept. Um, it's just, you'll have more pieces to export, and more pieces to select, and all of that good stuff. Anyway, so you go imp File, Import. <clears throat> excuse me wavefront obj and find you would find it which is right here for me okay so you can see this thing is huge you need to scale it down so you need to select seed tote viz and go to the scale 0 0.01 is what you need for everything everything needs to be 0 0.01 so you see here we have just our tote and there is our labels right there so you need to do the same with those. Alright, cool. Now, I'm going to set up a uh, blender render system. So I need to change that to that, that there. Uh, I don't need to change that. Change that and change that. Okay, so now... You can press N or click here to get rid of this, or drag it, or however you want to do it. I usually just click N. So now we have our things. You can see we don't have any materials. So I'm going to rename this to Tote, and then this will be, uh, that can actually stay as Labels. So I'm going to click New. I'm going to name this Labels. And then new and name this tote. Okay, so now you'll tab, click tab, or press tab, I mean, and click edit mode. So now everything is selected, but sometimes it may look like this. And to select everything, you press A. So then you go up here to this little thing, and you drag it over. Find this, and click UV image editor. Okay, so now click open. Find the original texture file if it has one. And I want the DDS file right away. So now we have seed tote AO.DDS. If we go into texture mode, you can do that by pressing Z. And then going to texture. So now you can see it's all textured up. So then you just want to be in edit mode and click this little checkered board here, which is texture. Click new. Click open and then find that texture again and click it. So now if you look here at this little ball, it shows the texture file for it. So then we'll go ahead and do the same with the label. Again, finding the uh, DDS for it. But that's not the right one though. Labels to diffuse, that's what I want. There we go, because I want it to say Pioneer on it. And there you go. So now this thing is all textured up. And again, if you look here, you can see that it has that. So then you can close this if you want, or you can leave it open. So now, you press A, and it'll select both of these. Or you can go up here and left-click it, and then hit hold left shift and left click again and then it'll select it so then you go file export 
Um, I have Giant's I3D exporter enabled, so uh, I use that. I don't remember how to set that up, but I'm sure there's something out there um, that'll show you. So we're going to call this Seed Tote. Oh, okay, we are just going to call this Tote for now. And then Export I3D. Now you can save this if you want. I'm not going to with this because I know this is going to work. Um, so, now, we don't need a lot of this stuff. So we just need the Seed Tote AO and the labels Diffuse 2 AO. So you can select everything else here and delete it. It can all be deleted. So then here, I don't need any of this stuff because I'm not using this as a full-blown mod right now. So then I'm going to rename this. I actually don't need to. So then we can get rid of the OBJ file as well. So then you want to click on this and right-click on it. Click Edit with Notepad++. Anytime you export something from Blender, you have to do this. So you see it has slash slash textures backslash. So first what you need to do is get rid of these slash, double slashes. Highlight and just click or press backspace. Now there's another way to do this, a faster way. If you click a spot, go left control, left shift, and left alt. And then left click and drag down and over. You can select more than one line at once. So then control shift alt click drag and then you want this to be forward slash and then the cause power needs to be 10 and then these specular colors need to be 0 space 0 space 0 so three zeros um, when it's just one point blah 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 I just select everything but whoops everything but one of these zeros and just delete it because then um, then it works that way too okay so then you can open this up with any giants editor that you want and I'm opening it up with the uh, FS 15 one you could use like FS 13 even if you wanted to uh, it would not matter, and I think I goofed up something in this, didn't I? Probably. Oops, I want material editing. Yes, I did. Shoot. Hmm. Whoopsie. What did I do? Hmm. Uh, it is all here. Should all be working. <coughs> well, you kind of get the point. It should work. I don't know what I goofed up here. I may have to redo it, which would not really be that bad. I don't know how to be able to apply a new texture to it either, so... Anyway, that's the basics of it. So then with an actual mod, uh, you have to go through all of the scripting. You have to just rescript it, basically. And... Uh, I mean, that's really not that fun, but I really dislike the scripting. I guess I really didn't need to do all of that stuff. I just needed, oh, whatever. So, yeah, um, and that's basically the basics of it. For those of you that wanted to know, just a little short video for you today. Um, back to farm sim tomorrow and then mapping the day after so thanks for watching you guys if you enjoyed the video be sure to hit that thumbs up button if you're new to the channel welcome to the channel be sure to subscribe if you like what you see 
Be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Be sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs, my upload schedule, as well as links to all of my social medias and some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Uh, I'm going to start doing a few more tutorials here and there. And uh, yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed the tutorials. I'll be doing more of them. And as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.